Good morning, everybody. We're in Iowa at a come and go truck stop. We've got a load of tires. Did you watch yesterday's vlog? We picked these up in yesterday's video. We ended the vlog right there. Actually, well, I guess it was over here. We were looking up at the sign and we started today's vlog in the exact same place. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and uh, hit the like button after the video if you do like it and leave me a comment down below. Old Blue is looking nice over there. Needs a bit of a bath, but uh, we'll take care of that down the road. So we don't want to spend too much time here. I want to get down the road and find a truck stop with a truck wash and uh, get Old Blue bathed. Bathed. Bathed? Bathed. 30 minute parking for come and go customers only. How much you want to bet people park here all night? Hey, there's a lack of parking spaces. If there's an open parking space and I need to stop for night. We're just going to say it's a, it's a long 30 minutes.
Petro. I'm going to sleep here again tonight. Uh, we're going to spend a little time here first this evening. We're going to get the truck wash. Hopefully there's not a long line. at this truck wash in Albert Lee you park out in front of the wash here and you go inside to their shop counter and you pay first and once you pay then they'll bring you in it looks like they got a whole crew of guys I think three or four guys over there and from what I read on their page in there they do acid washes uh, they got citrus brightener on there in there uh, washing it down with uh, wash brushes it doesn't look like it's as sophisticated as the North Star wash in Grand Forks just by me looking in here right now uh, and, oops, and not as much as Blue Beacon either excuse me there sorry my phone is just alerting me some of my favorite uh, youtubers just went live my podcasts I like to listen to podcasts as I go down the road. And uh, I have a YouTube premium account, so I can just turn the podcast on, turn my phone off, and just the audio will play through my truck as I drive. I like that a lot better than playing music for some reason. I rarely listen to music. I'm always listening to talking. Podcasts or uh, any talking keeps me awake better than music. If it's not podcasts or somebody talking, like a radio show or something, it's just silence. I like driving in silence. Sometimes I go an entire day, just silence. Especially in summertime when I can have the windows down, I can hear the hum of the tires, wind in my hair. Yeah, I like to just uh, enjoy, enjoy the day sometimes and have no music. That's just me though. I'm looking forward to get old blue washed here. And then we're gonna go find a parking spot uh, somewhere around here. We should be out of this wash in, in good time. And it's only seven o'clock right now. So there should be lots of parking available for me when we're done here. And 
we'll get an early start tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna quite make it to the Canadian border tomorrow. We're gonna make it close. I have 1,100 kilometers from here, which is what, like 700 miles or something. Uh, 1,100 divided by 1 1.61, 683 miles. I don't think I'm gonna make it because I usually run at 62 miles an hour. I can do a little more if I want to, but 62 seems to be the sweet spot for, yeah. my, for my truck, my transmission, and my yeah. diffs. Uh, it's where I get the best fuel economy and my engine's just, my truck's happiest. My truck overall is just happiest at 62. If I need to pass somebody, I can lay into it a little bit and get around them, but. So at 62 miles an hour, 10 hours, if I didn't stop at all, I'd make it 620 miles. So I mean, like, if there was no stops and no small towns, we would probably just make it to the Canadian border. But there's so many small towns I'm going to have to go through, especially in North Dakota. I'll probably make it close, but maybe we'll make it to Minot. And we'll stay at the Schatz Crossroads. That's what it's called, right? Schatz Truck Stop. That might be where we'll stay tomorrow night. We could go to the Flying J and see if they've cleaned their showers by now, but I, I'm not holding my breath for that. I, I don't think I'm going back there. I'll go stay at Schatz. So that's the plan for now. Tomorrow, let's see if we can make it to Schatz. Just looking on Google here. See how far away that is from here. That would be... 951 kilometers yeah very close to 600 miles that'll be a full day I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make it to Schatz in Minot tomorrow and then from there to Lang Bank Saskatchewan it'll be another 250 kilometers another two and a half three hours from there the next day that's pretty good we'll wake up early tomorrow we'll get to Minot and then we'll wake up early the next day three hours we're at our delivery we'll unload and we'll still have most of the day to go and get a reload or whatever the plan's gonna be then yeah that's my trip plan i like it i don't know if i'm gonna stick to it or not but that's the plan for now but always plan for plans to change we'll see what happens tune in tomorrow don't forget make sure you're subscribed pause the video right now go below the video make sure you're subscribed it's free hit that subscribe button you can follow me along as, on all my journeys follow me along tomorrow and the next day as well see where we end up some people have been following me for almost 12 years already so they've seen me grow and evolve i used to have hair or some hair anyway you know i used to be just me and diesel out on the road and then i met my wife and then we got engaged and then we got married and all of that is on youtube and then we became parents so follow along join our story that is actually awesome. That whole machine moves over your truck to rinse it. I've never seen that in a truck wash before. Huh. Well, so far my whole experience here has been really great. They've all been really friendly and I guess I'll be stopping by here more often when I'm in the area. If you guys want a truck wash, come check it out. For me, my truck wash was $85 US. And that includes an undercarriage wash and Rain-X. So it's about the same price as Blue Beacon. Around the same price. They're all about the same. So it was $55 for the tractor wash, $12 for the Rain-X, and another $12 for the undercarriage wash. Like, look at this big machine. That's what I was telling you about before. Look at this thing. The whole thing. It doesn't touch your truck. But it looks like it could if it wanted to got those uh, brushes on it spinners I don't want it to touch my truck don't touch my truck touchless I think the whole thing moves right over your truck wow and they washed it by hand before this this is just rinsing it hashtag impressed that's awesome great job all right let's go see what the parking situation is like let's see how good of a spot we can get it doesn't have to be close to the building, it just has to be a good, safe spot where no one's gonna back into me. If it's close to the building, that's a bonus. They're gonna wait for me? All right. See, one of these spots off to the left would be nice. I like how they're angled the correct way so you don't have to blindside it in. 
bobtail taking up a whole spot there. All right, all right. Let's see how it is. Oh, we might have a spot all the way back here. Oh, those are not spots, are they? There's a RV parked right here. He was here last night already. So he's been here at least two nights now. Looks like he's been there a long time taking up a spot. right here to my left. I'm gonna keep those in mind. I might come back for those yet. I like this area off to the left right here. You got all of this in front of you. There's one spot there. I wanna park all the way at the end there. a little bit far from the building but it is what it is I was hoping there would be a spot right back here on the left looks like they're all taken up already though oh, there's one right here and not there oops ouch 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 Josh pay attention to what you're doing okay So I've done a good circle of the lot. I'm gonna go back around and uh, actually make a decision. I like to see what all my options are first. I'm very picky about where I park. I don't know if you've noticed this over my past videos. I'm very picky. I don't park just anywhere. If you see me park somewhere in the truck stop, that spot was hand-picked and the best one I could find at the time. Oh, what about this off to the right here? Oh, is there someone in there? Oh, that's a pretty good spot, actually. That is a pretty good spot. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Is there another one over here? Oh, there is. That's the even better one. Okay, I'm going to take it. It's mine. Straight up the driveway. I'm gonna back straight up. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of spot I like to get. It does not get any more perfect than this. Look at that, the building is right there. I got a straight path right out. The guy beside me, if he leaves, and the guy beside me over there, if he leaves, and someone else backs in beside me, they got a straight shot in right beside me. When they leave, they can go straight out there. Lots of room for them to get around me here. There is a very, 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 very minimal chance that I am gonna get hit parked here. This is a perfect spot. We got a W9 brother right here beside me. Nice. Pulling a tanker. Nice. And we got a Cascadia brother here. Pulling a dry van. Nice. No outdated APU with an exhaust pointed straight at my truck. Nice. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night here. I feel good about this. And the truck is washed. I'm having a good day. out of my grill. They got a lot of them. A whole lot better, but I didn't get them all. I'm gonna have to wipe down my rims. This is still filthy. Okay. Oh, well, nothing a little bull snot won't clean up. This is still dirty. Okay, well. It does look a whole lot better. Just go back here, make sure we're uh, all good. Try to get as close to this barrier as I dared. I 
How's that for professional? <laughs> That's awesome. And I have this barrier to protect me from people backing in against me. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and claim it. This is my spot from now on. Albert Lee Petrol. If you park here, you owe me rent. It's like Monopoly, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> 